Welcome to our daily news from the ITLOB newsroom. Our news of today takes us to Canada and Scotland uh, because two institutes, uh, the Canadian Institute for Water, Environment and Health and the Scottish Association for Marine, Marine Science have recently published a report on the downsides of uh, algae production. Algae production has uh, grown um, explosively in the past decades, even more, even more quickly than aquaculture did, and today amounts to an annual production of uh, 25 million tons with a production value of more than 6 billion. The main uh, producer, accounting for about half of production, is China, followed by Indonesia with more than a quarter, and other major producers are uh, Korea, and the Philippines. Algae production has uh, big advantages. It provides uh, nutrition both for humans uh, and, uh, and aquaculture, and it doesn't, its production doesn't uh, require uh, fertilizers. However, the uh, quick increase in production in the past has led to a couple of problems. Um, one group of problems is related to intensive production, such as the uh, increased likelihood of uh, illnesses, uh, which in turn makes it necessary to treat the production areas uh, with uh, chemicals, uh, which can contaminate the water. And another group of problems refers to competition for coastal resources, because there is more and more more and more algae production, but also other uses of coastal resources, such as uh, for aquaculture, for fishing, for tourism, for infrastructure, settlements, and so on, the, uh, the competition for coastal waters becomes ever more intense. Um, so it becomes clear that uh, central management of these uh, uh, coastal uh, uses will become necessary. To summarize, uh, algae production is a good thing, but it has lately become a victim of its own success. This ends our news for today. If you want to know more about our stories, please go to eatglobe.com. Thank you for watching and see you soon.